Okay, you guys, so today I'm just doing a, a little bit of skincare shopping. I'm running out of a lot of the stuff that I normally use, but I normally go to Ulta for skincare, but TJ Maxx and like Marshalls, I've been seeing some pretty interesting YouTube videos of people getting the same exact stuff for way less. So we're gonna see what it is that we can find today. Actually, first, <laughs> the purse section drew me in. Look at this uh, color bag. It's like minty blue. It's really pretty. I don't know if it's picking up that well on the camera, but I haven't had anything that color. Look at this one. Oh, that's super cute. Nice white bag. I think this is this AK. What who is this? Ann Klein. Oh, Ann Klein. Okay, look at this one though in the pink. Oh yeah. Yeah. I like that one. That one's super cute. Love that. Let's see. Let's see what else we can get. What is this? This is almost like a Medusa head. Let me see. Oh, it's like, well that's Anne Klein too. It's almost like a little Gucci horse bit, but with a something in the middle Look at this one does this not give you uh the dior saddlebag that is really cute i can't even actually take it off because it's hooked on here i don't wonder people be stealing okay let me see if i can flip it up oh shit. okay it's like a little suede on the inside oh it has some red on the outside what does this brand come that's it that's all oh shit. okay hooked up like somebody really wants to take this was oh, okay that's three hundred dollars so maybe this is some type of well-known brand i don't know what brand this is but it is very cute okay so they have some like valentino bags in here but i never seen any of these valentino bags like these styles or anything like that so i wonder if they're like more outlet not a lot of options but they have this whole travel set of the belief um aqua bomb and it's twelve dollars and it's normally yeah like 20 i was gonna say like 25 bucks so this is a good find right here okay so i don't know if you've ever heard of this brand herbivore it actually seems to have some pretty good things to try so this one is like a it's like a double cleanse set which i typically double cleanse this one is really good for taking off like your makeup or the impurities from the day and then you have another cleanser that is for the pores and all the reviews that i saw on sephora which were pretty good were talking about how well it worked for their pores and i definitely have deep pores it's about 16.99 it says compared to 23 but on the sephora website it said it was like 32 or 38 bucks and that's even with a discount so I think I'm gonna try this one out. Guys, I've kind of figured this was some good stuff because it's in this little container. But I did some research on this brand, Coast Cor RX. I don't know how to say it. I think it's Cost RX or Coast RX. But this seems to be a really good brand. First of all, look at the nails. <laughs> Eats. Um, this seems to be like a really good brand when it comes to acne prone skin, which I have as much as people love to say, oh, your skin looks so good. That's because I've went to dermatologists and estheticians for years. One, it really seems really good. A lot of people were talking about the blackheads that be in your nose that just like it really minimized and got rid of that. Um, and it's a liquid essence. I hear Jackie and Ida talking about essence all the time, so I definitely want to try that. This is like 25 bucks on the site, and I think it's about 12, 16. And this AHA, BHA, I always know this is really good. This toner treatment, this seems like it would be really good for my son as well. Both of these are very gentle, which is something that um, I think he needs because he's still a little kid. It's just unfortunate that he has my skin, but we're both going to try these. I don't use Murad anymore, however, I know that this is a pretty good price, 30 bucks for this little package because anytime you've went to like, um, oh what is that place called, um, Massage Envy, anytime you go to Massage Envy, they always try to sell you this and I think they do use this, so I feel like this is a pretty good price if y'all use that. I go around the corner because them ladies was chit-chatting loud as hell. Don't interrupt, bro. 
But anyway, I've been wanting to try something like this. I don't know much about this brand. Um, My Beauty Spot. Mm, it seems like just a regular brand. I'm just a regular, regular, schmegular girl from the Bronx. But I, you know, I heard that you should start trying anti-aging serums and stuff like that the younger that you are to keep that youthful skin i mean people still do believe i'm 23 or whatever but this um seems like it helps with fading pigmentation and smooths the skin surface and reduce dullness so well, that's exactly what i'm looking for because I really have that many dark spots anymore and dullness i mean face ain't never been dull so maybe this isn't exactly it maybe this is a little bit better aloe i know aloe always helps and this really might be giving me what it is i'm trying to look for we'll see and that's like six bucks compared to ten doctor wellness i don't use this because i don't use makeup every single day but if i if I wore makeup more than I did, I definitely would use this product. At Ulta, I know that this is $50 or more, but here it's 30 bucks. And this is a big ass jar, like compared to these other jars, like look, it's hefty. But this Take Off The Day cleansing balm, I heard works really good. I had a little sample size of it before and I thoroughly enjoyed it. Y'all better come get you one of these. What's that? It's a chicken salad. They even got Mac here. How much? Why would they put this thing right over the sticker? Ridiculous. I think I'm gonna actually cop this for real because one thing I know about Estee Lauder. Oh, this isn't Estee Lauder. Why they really got me? I thought this was Estee Lauder, and I know their um, anti wrinkle products, their anti aging products, really be on fire. Why would they give me? you know what i might have lied i think i might try one of these okay so this one is for collagen this one's for retinol so when you see oh shit i almost dropped my phone when you see what it's for this one targets crepe crepey skin creepy skin i don't know how to say it. crepe i know it's like crepe paper like targets crepey skin loss of tone and wrinkles i ain't there yet but this one says target fine lines wrinkles and discoloration i got you know a little bit of wrinkles well not for real for real but you know i got young people wrinkles and that's what i'm trying to like get taken care of so i might try this i might try one of these too they're both like six dollars so we'll see this is estee lauder and i really want to try this product this revitalizing supreme and bright um moisturizer it just it's like you know next level moisturizer for youthful brighter uh toned skin and it has some really good ingredients in it this thing look at this it's still expensive it's 50 dollars, but it's normally 83 dollars. like <sighs> crazy i'm not gonna get it because i'm not gonna spend 50 dollars. but not on just that one product but same thing with this shishito i know this is a really good brand um and they have a lot of really fantastic products it's like an asian skincare brand and um this cream right here this revitalizing cream going for 60 dollars. but look at compared to oh, 104 like sheesh come on found this smaller version of the estee lauder revitalizing supreme plus one this one says plus bright but this one just says plus and this um is much more manageable in price this is like 13 bucks compared to 22 and i'm sure it's probably more than 22 if i look it up but i think i might get this one just to just to try it out because i don't mind spending some money on some skincare i mind trying it for the first time and spending some money this brand i really like their website they kind of break down what each product does in, in a lot of different let me tell you something let me tell you something okay i just wanted to do a little unboxing a little shopping haul from when i went to tj maxx did my camera die yes y'all know my camera's gonna die don't come at me okay help me be able to afford one of them expensive ass battery packs then let's talk okay so the first thing i got was this toner can you see i don't know if it's cos rx or cos rx got this for 12.99 so 
I got another Coast RX BHA Power Liquid, okay? Miss Jackie Ina, always talking about an essence and how it's better. So I said, let me let me give myself some luxury, okay? If it's good enough for Miss Jackie Ina, then it's good enough for, for me. It was $16.99 as well. People must be stealing because look, they got two alarms in here. Two they might even have a third. It says alarming. Oh, shit. So it's three products. I believe it's two cleansers and a mask. And this is from the brand Herbivore. So this I actually got from, dang, I think Adam took off the dang price. I got this also for $16.99. Okay. I got the Estee Lauder. Estee Lauder Revi Revitalizing Supreme Plus um, Moisturizing Cream. Um, this one I got for $12.99. I was glad I was able to get something that by Estee Lauder because I really want to try more of their products. However, I'm just not willing to pay their prices to try. But if it's worth it, it's worth it. I'll buy it because if your skin don't look good, nothing else is going to look good. Your makeup's not going to look good. Whenever you don't wear makeup, it's... Y'all know. Y'all know. Let's see. This one they wrapped in paper for me. That's what all this laugh ass noise is. So this is supposed to be, I think, like a dupe for Estee Lauder. Because it really, I really thought it was Estee Lauder. But it's not. It's this brand, Esme Labs. Um, but this is a retinol cream. I was going between this one and another bottle that was like pretty similar. It was like a collagen. But I chose this one because this was for, it said in the directions, you use it every evening. And the other one, it said you use every morning. And plenty of times in the morning, I don't want something heavy like a serum on my face. I just want to be able to wash, moisturize, sunscreen, and go. This is $5.99. I got some of these little face shavers. Normally I get the ones that are longer, but these ones, you see how small the blade is, how much shorter they are. Like the ones in the hair store are like long. This was $5.99. So that's a good deal because it's like two for, it's like six of them. I was really excited about this when I found this. My camera already died before I showed y'all even picking this up. But this is another product from Estee Lauder in a soft, clean liquid. So it is a silky hydration lotion. I want to feel luxuriously hydrated. This is something I feel like I would just put on in the morning when I just want to have a fresh face and go run my errands or go about my day. The better you take care of your skin, I feel like the more I want to show it off. Like show off that natural beauty girl. Show them, show them you ain't got no texture. Show them that them pimples is small, okay? This was $19.99. I got one more thing that wasn't skincare but i was really excited about this so it's a body spray ari by ariana grande now listen i love ariana grande's perfume and i got like a small set before and they were just like the ones that didn't even have the sprays you had to like dab it on you which i don't really like but i couldn't remember the name of the one i liked the most but it had the picture of it on the back and this is definitely it so i sprayed it on myself and then just kind of walked around the store for a while and throughout the rest of the day i still smelled this on me so it the body spray really really stuck it just smells so good yeah Let's see this was 7.99 that's a steal my total came up to a hundred a hundred and eight dollars and 71 cents now out of eight products so i i guess that's not bad Are, are you fake crying? <laughs> you know, skincare is always worth it. And honestly, getting any of these products at Sephora or getting these products at Ulta would have definitely cost more. Um, so I still saved money, even though I spent money. Hey, let me tell you something real quick. So my nails are done. <laughs> okay, period. These are cute as right but i just got them done yesterday and whenever you get like stiletto nails especially the longer they get you poke yourself a little bit like when you first get them done so yesterday even before i left getting my nails done i, I fucked myself up a few times but like taking a shower this morning even just right now like i done poked myself a couple can you hold on let me see you see that you see that emotional damage Anyway, that's all that I bought, so...
Do you think that you guys would want to see me use these products? Hmm? Maybe do a little get unready with me. Cut. I don't poke myself again. Gosh darn it. I don't want to do a skincare routine yet just because I don't know if I'm going to like incorporate any of these products like religiously into my skincare. Um, so I kind of want to use them first. All right, y'all. That's really all I have for this video today. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.